What's going on, guys? I just had... I was finna film a time-lapse video, right? Just, you know, just to bring this video in very smooth and cinematic. I'll go to lift up my window. Check this out. What has my mom done? Look at this. She has put brackets on the windows, okay? So... Like she must think somebody gonna break in. I don't know. I don't. I don't. Anyway, let's get let's get to the intro. What's going on, guys? It's Mortel. <laughs> What's going on guys, it's your boy Tell, we back with another one. I just wanted to say like, this pandemic has been life changing, honestly. And let me, let me check. See, right here guys, guess what? I decided I want to be a lawyer. Um, I decided that I want to help people, uh, especially after everything that's been going on. Uh, just filling you guys out of what's been going on in my life recently anyway. You know, um, I've been passionate about service. And I think that's when I joined Alpha Kappa Psi, Professional Business Attorney Incorporated. Um, ever since I did that, it really driven me. And especially with everything going on right nowadays. And I just always know I want to help people. So, why not do it the legal way? You know, and also, one book I'm really interested in reading is The Autobiography of Malcolm X. I've heard some great stories about this, you know what I'm saying? I'm really getting my book collection up. So, you know what I'm saying? Knowledge is power, guys. Remember that. So, a little bit less about me and more about this video. So, today we are walking through how I edit my videos, how I use my skills to do it the fastest and the easiest way. So, uh, software I use is Lightroom Pro. Um, I love Lightroom Pro. I've always used it. Um, luckily, also, guys, if you are a student, I don't know if they're going to be doing this special, um, coming back around school, but I know I got the whole Adobe package for $75, um, for the year, because they had to sell on it. You know, originally it's like $300, which is very, that, that, that's a lot. So, anyways, um, make sure you guys look into that. Um, i actually been considering switching over to Final Cut, yeah, because... Premiere Pro is very complex. I used to move so much faster with Final Cut. But enough of that. Let's get into the video, guys. Hope you guys have been having a blessed day. Let's get straight into it. All right, guys. So this is my home screen. I'm going to hop into Lightroom Pro. So I'm in Adobe Lightroom. I already imported the photos that I decided were the best from the photo shoot. Mind you, this is my pledge brother, the beautiful, my back, Prosperity Okay, So... What I'm doing here is basically what I choose to do. First off, I want to zoom out and then I want to play with the uh, vitals on it. So exposure, contrast, highlights, all sorts of things like that. So this is what I do. So I up it and lower it. I want to keep in mind that with her uh, having brown skin and being of my descent that you don't want to give too much saturation because you don't want nobody to look orange so I like how the light shines on her so I think the exposure is pretty good so I keep that at zero contrast I want it to be a little bit more dramatic and you know just like a like a like a um like a strong feeling a strong appeal to what she's delivering so I know with uh, any grown woman shoot, when it comes to a birthday shoot, especially your 21st, you want that grown, that sex, sexy appeal um, to give to your audience or whoever you're giving to. Especially with what she's displaying on the photo, that's the uh, sort of thing she's going for. So I'm going to do that. So play with the highlights a little bit. Hmm... I think this one is so like basically we do this you just want to play with it I think too low is too dark so I like it a little bit a little bit lighter I actually like that a little bit so I want to play with the shadows as well so with it being a black background I did that purposely because I want the subject to stand out so uh, I might not do too much with the shadows I might actually lower it to about 40 maybe 38 so white 
I'm not going to do anything with whites. I'm just going to leave that at zero. And with blacks, let's see how this is going to go. Okay. Blacks are fine. I actually want to turn down my blacks to about 10, negative 10. So going down the color mixer, everything looks good. I don't really see any colors that I want to pop. Um, Vengay, I do want to Vengay it a little bit with the black. Give it a little darker, more centered feeling. Negative 18 on that. And that's usually what I'm doing. So usually when I get to this point, um, I want to make sure, okay, is this going to be the similar look for any other different photo? Is it going to be any similar uh, lighting or thing? And of course, with it being a studio shoot and her posing in this same position in multiple frames, what I can do is I can actually save this as the preset. So I go to presets, go to create a preset, and I go to name and I type in uh, the subject. I've done this multiple times, so I type in prosperity brown shirt. So I try to make something stick out so I could be like, okay, when I do, so when I do get on that next photo, I'm like, okay, I can start off with this look and then if it doesn't even look that good with the line or anything I could just adjust it so that's what I usually do so what I'm finna do is I'm finna now what I'm finna do is retouch the photo so I don't really do it too much with Photoshop because honestly I'm not as experienced as Photoshop and I kinda like everything consolidated on this one platform I think it makes things so much more easier so what I'm finna do is I'm just finna retouch it I'm finna use the healing brush so you see couple bumps here and there oops so what I do is go to that tab and drag off where I see any big exposure of acne or anything that came or clumps of makeup or anything of uh, anything of that nature I go to the healing brush boom 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 click on the spot and then sometimes you have to adjust because the healing brush does not always cooperate with you so you'll adjust it to a nice spot make sure it matches the skin tone and boom so it acts like that bump isn't as there is isn't it isn't as clear as it was before so you just do it to each sort of thing that sticks out so boom right here the small cheek boom just small some small things that can you know make the photo come to more come to life better and just what what's the thing is you want to make your clients appeal you want them to be woed from your work you know taking photos is one thing but editing, taking photos, honestly, is about 20% of the job. Editing is where it's very important because this is where uh, your creative mindset comes from and how you think you're going through your client's eyes to see how they want their things to look. Especially because if somebody doesn't give you a direction of how they want their photos to look, then yeah, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. So, you know, continue to retouch up. I'm just continuing to do that. Don't want to do it too much because you don't want it to look unnatural. But at the same time, you know, you just want to make sure everything looks pretty good. See, and sometimes when you retouch, it leaves a dark spot right here. Because sometimes it'll do from the skin to the background or to like hair. So you really want to change up that. So you hit the healing brush right here. Just hit delete and back to normal. So right now, I think this is pretty good. I think this is a nice photo. So that's how you retouch on that and that's how you add a preset. So adding presets make things so much more efficient and so much more easier because all you have to do is just literally apply it and adjust it. So next photo, right here. It's a, it's a similar look, uh, just uh, further behind, more depth of field, and you see a chair behind it. So keep in mind it is a chair and it's white. So you got to keep those sort of things in mind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop on this one. And then I kind of don't like how shining it is. So what I'm going to do is I can either bring down the exposure. Or what I'm going to do is hmm, bring down the highlights. So I didn't like how much the highlights were. I think the actual, I think the lighting has done a good job of establishing her highlight. So I will definitely put that at like negative eight, and then just keep it going, uh, play with it. Um, so I'm up my contrast about forty, and then 
I think this looks like a pretty nice photo. You don't really see much of the skin. So you don't really have to play too much with it. So that's the only thing about photo retouching. You want to be able to make sure when you're retouching a photo, how will the audience look at it? When it comes on Instagram, are they really going to zoom far in? Nine times out of ten, if you're doing that, you're just weird. So um, what we're going to do is we're just going to do a big blob of it. Boom, boom, boom. Nothing too serious. Uh, boom, boom. And then... Voila, so you have the piece. So let me show you when it comes to different, like a different color. So, like right here. I love this photo. I think it makes her stand out a lot. I love the white and how her skin complements the background. It was perfect. So, how we're going to do this is basically it looks beautiful, but we really want to always see what, how can we make this more better? How can we make this better? So, we're going to look at the exposure. Lowering it, upper in it. Okay. I think it's actually pretty good. We can keep that at like negative 10. I think negative 10 pretty good. Up the contrast, see what we can do with that. I like how it complements the skin very well. So I can up the contrast to like plus 3. Nothing too crazy because you don't really want it to get out of whack. Uh, highlights. Let's see. Highlights that see. So. And that and that's the thing about Lightroom. It plays with many different cards. So with highlights, this one is very just really playing with the shirt. So I don't want it to play. I want I don't want the shirt to be too much of a main focus. So I'ma up the shirt and make it white and make it bring her skin out. Make sure we're more so focused on her than like what the detail has on the actual shirt. Then playing with the shadows. I think the shadows look pretty good. Let me get a little bit lighter so it can match your skin tone. Whites. This is really mainly focusing on the lighting on this part and just the shirt. So I'm gonna up that up to 18. And then with blacks, we just keep the blacks. I knock that down to negative 20. And I think that turns out pretty good. I'm not gonna vingate this one because it's not a black background, so you're not gonna see those um those black uh frames coming in from the corners. So with that, go to presets, boom, boom, boom. So I'm gonna type in prosperity white since she's wearing a white shirt. And boom, okay. And then you do the same thing as you was before. You wanna make sure you retouch, always make sure you retouch. So if you wanna get in there more close to detail, what we do we play around with it and boom see like how it just clicks on the actual hair we don't want that to happen so we want to go to a smoother layer of skin boom just like that sometimes it falls soup sometimes it doesn't but you always want to just make sure everything is good make sure everything nice and okay boom 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 okay and then I think that played out pretty well nothing too crazy just just um cutting down some of that and boom there's your photo and also you know when you are jumping on your next photo similar look you know i like this it makes her with her chin up it brings her a more broad sort of dominant stand you know what i'm saying i'm like to really feel it gives to me so we're gonna go back right here presets that we got and then all we got to do is prosperity white boom and then bow it looks perfect I think it looks perfect I really do um, all you got to do is just a little photo retouching simple simple so boom a little bit just a little bit there see how it just hopped up on the eyebrow now you want to make sure that that's good so take that up a little bit boom boom and see hair again I'm just going to delete that one and we're just gonna mess with that one okay and then boom so now back up here so this is my personal advice and how I go through editing my photos so these are my tips and my advice um, I think it makes everything so much more easier the fact that I can create my light and my color and just make everything smooth how I like it 
And then after that, when I do that, all I got to do is basically create it as a preset, apply it on each one that has a similar sort of lighting or just similar sort of set. And then what I do, I just readjust it as each one goes. And it just makes everything so much more easier and efficient for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to smash the like button. I'm telling you, don't forget to smash it. And without further ado, if you made it this far, God bless you. And I hope you have an amazing day. And without further ado, make sure you follow my Instagram. Peace. Chilling right here with my day ones. Feeling like we done came up. A lot of OT, that's what made us. If we work hard, we will make up. Shawty, I'm about to hit the road. Mm. Shawty, I'm about